Hey you guys, it's Ash here again. Um, I'm going to be doing um, something today that is actually one of my first requests. Um, and it was to do my um, my foundation. So I was really excited. And if you want to know how I do my foundation, keep on watching. I have been experimenting with different foundations, just a couple. Um, my first one that I experimented with is CoverGirl, and that was in, I think, like f fairest of the fair. Um, I'm pretty, I used to be really tan when I was younger, and now I'm really fair, really white. Anyways, um, and so I've just been trying out different different foundations and I really like CoverGirl and um, I tried I wanted to try something else too I just want to kind of see what else is out there I don't there's nothing wrong with CoverGirl I really love CoverGirl um, but I wanted to try something different so I was in Vic Victoria's Secrets and Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secrets Vic I can't remember what it's called I think I have a bag anyway so I was in Vicky's we'll just call it Vicky's. I was in Vicky's and I saw that they had, um, this is actually a number one primer for foundations and this is Victoria's Secrets. I wonder, Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret um, primer, face primer. And then um, I also got their Soft Focus Liquid Foundation and it also has SPF 20 which I really liked as well because you gotta protect your skin, you know what I'm saying? And I got it in light. I think it was like the second lightest. So what I do first, gosh that was a long introduction. Okay so what I do first, alright my daughter has to use the restroom. This is why sometimes I don't tape during the day because it's just chaos and confusion. Alright so I'm just going to take a couple squirts of my, um, my face primer and I'm just going to use my hands and I'm going to go all around my face, a little bit on my ears, and down my neck. And then I'm going to take my foundation. And if you don't have the brushes that I'm using, um, some of the best tools that you can have are right here, your fingertips. So if you don't have the brushes or if you don't have the tools that I'm using, don't even seriously worry about it. Just use your fingertips. The only reason why I'm using brushes is because my husband was fabulous and he got some brushes for me for my birthday. So, so you just take a, I take a couple squirts and I put it on my hand and then I like my dual fiber brush and it's um, my Sigma uh, F50. I love you too. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna dab it in there and I really don't like um, a lot of heavy foundation might need a one more squirt. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rub all that in. And then I go down on my jawline and down into my neck, down into my neck to make sure I get an all over even look because I don't want my face and my neck to be two different shades. There we go. And then I'm going to take my concealer and um, I'm going to do what I would normally okay. take. And I'm still going to go, um, and you can see my concealer, it melted. But my grandpappy used to say, waste not, want not. So I'm not going to waste any of this product. So, alright, so I'm just going to go where I would normally do it right underneath the eyes, in between my eyebrows, on the side of my nose. I have a little bit of redness. And then I'm going to cover up any blemishes. And now if you don't have blemish blemishes, you're flipping lucky. But I have some blemishes. And then if you don't have this brush, this is just my concealer brush. Um, my foundation brush. It's an F60. Um, I use this to blend that in. But if you don't have this brush and you want to use the best tools that you have that are for free, and just use your fingertips. Yeah, so you don't have to use the brushes just because I'm using the brushes. If you're on a budget, 
which I'm on a budget for my beauty supplies, um, and you don't have enough money to spend on brushes, then don't spend them. Then don't spend the money on it. All right, and then last but, but not least, to finish my whole foundation-ish routine, um, this is my Mary Kay um, mineral powder in Ivory One. <laughs> Fancy seeing Ivory One. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just take my powder brush, and I'm just gonna put my powder all over my face to set my foundation. And you know what, I think I'm gonna do like a whole review on Mary Kay products because I think for a long time there, Mary Kay has gotten kind of like, when you think of Mary Kay, you think of maybe it not being the best makeup. Um, because up until about three years ago, I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, oh, you know, Mary Kay, it's a good product. But they totally revamped their whole makeup line, and it's seriously awesome, and it's very affordable. So I think maybe here in the next couple weeks that I'm going to put that on my um, my to-do list because they, for Rolls, have some awesome, awesome makeup um, for a very affordable price. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that is my foundation routine. Um, Victoria's Secret Foundation, CoverGirl Concealer, and Mary Kay Loose Powder. So, as you can see, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, if I like something, I'm going to use it, and if I don't like it, I'll tell you. So, I really like the Victoria's Secrets, um, Victoria's Secret, and if you want to try it out, I, I would totally recommend it. And I really like their their um, foundation primer. It goes on like butter. So I guess that's all I want to say about that. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and click that yellow button, subscribe. I would totally love and appreciate all of the support. And I just kind of have to say, I absolutely am loving on my subscribers. Um, I am just so happy with all of the support and all the love, especially from other beauty gurus here on YouTube. And for the ones that have come and supported me, I just, I can't thank you enough. And then you guys know what to do. Make every day beautiful. I'll talk to you later. Bye.